So super excited now, about to go on the next trip down to China, seven days, seven flights, hectic schedule, but thankfully Rebecca Deacon from the Travel Council has got it all arranged for us, so everything's going to run smoothly. We're going to see so much stuff, it's going to be so exciting. Loads of culture, loads of foods, can't wait. So three different provinces in China, seven days, seven flights, let's do this. fastest train and it's easily the quickest and most fun way of getting into the city. been a long flight and we were craving some street food for breakfast. Fortunately our guide knew exactly where to take us. Pancake, it's so good. Yeah. Pancake. Mm. So now we've also got a pork bun, I think. Yeah. What more do you want for breakfast? After our breakfast, we were straight on to the Shanghai Tower. We are now at the Shanghai Tower, which is the second this building in the world. Getting the lift, so it should be pretty cool. The lift goes up 118 floors and the view for the city is spectacular from 546 metres high. Well, the hotel we've got down here is kind of called the bottle opener. It's 110 floors did you say? 101. 101 floors. So it's nowhere near as big as this one. But it looks pretty cool. We then got driven to the opposite side of the river to an area called the Bund, which enabled us to see where we'd just been, including views of the Oriental Pearl Tower. And then we drove off to get a quick bite to eat. Stop off to the Jade Buddha Temple is an absolute must while in Shanghai City. Short drive on takes you to the Yuan Gardens area.
the Yuan Gardens area has so much food to choose from and it was time to get stuck in. Okay, so what we've got here is, I believe, a steamed bun with crab soup in. Comes highly recommended. That's good. Hot soup and it's delicious. Can't wait to try the steam bun. And the other one we got is a grandmother's scallion pancake. Now this also, I'm hoping it's going to taste amazing because it's taken half an hour to wait for it. So. That's well worth the wait. So now I think we've got like a red bean cake. Oh, that's what I'm kind of assuming this one is. Mm. It's flaky, it's amazing, it's chocolatey, it's Chinese. So the final thing we're going to eat tonight is one of the nice egg custard tarts. Bad these before, they are amazing. It's so good. It's everywhere. It's like a creme brulee in the pastry. It's immense. Walking back to the Bund area to see Shanghai lit up in the evening was a great way to finish the day. So it's now Monday morning. We've now had breakfast. Got a couple of hours left in Shanghai, which is pretty much going to complete our 24 hours in Shanghai. Just going to have a little wander around People's Park. Not quite sure what to expect, but it's a nice park walk on a Monday morning. Why not? So as you do, woke up this morning, put the TV on and saw some random dude on the TV getting one of these royal teas and it looked really good. And we walked past the store and saw it and thought it'd be rude not to try it. So let's give one a go. That's good. I think, it's, I think that is the old grey one that we got. It might be green tea. But it could be either or, I don't know, but it tastes really good. Our first leg of Shanghai complete, we're on our way back to the airport and off to Xi'an. Our travel counsellor's guide Andrew got us to the airport on time, checked us in, so all we had to do was relax. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to PBTV. Feel free to leave any comments below. If you want an experience just like this, contact Rebecca Deacon at the Travel Counselors, whose information I'll leave below. Stay tuned for more videos on PBTV.